What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. Since I'm talking about Halloween ends in this video here again today. Now, Halloween ends has been confirmed to go to be going to theaters and Peacock simultaneously once again like Halloween Kills did last year. The same format, October 14th you'll have the option of going out to see it in theaters or you can see it on on Peacock at your in your house if you are someone who just prefers to watch it at home. Now, this method that they've done again i'm i really don't care only because again this is intended to be their final entry this of course being blumhouse however i get where other people are coming from in the fact that you just genuinely want this movie to make a lot of money uh from the theatrical experience and i get that but there are those people who again they can't make it to the theater so this does give them an easy route or an easy out to be able to have something readily available to them at the same time we will because i know a lot of people what they struggle with is avoiding spoilers and what i mean is a lot of people wouldn't be able to find it in themselves to ditch social media ditch certain platforms all together until let's say the the date i know a lot of people were saying they should have done it on should have done this two weeks after the theatrical release or done it on Halloween and let people who want to see it at home get that experience two weeks later after the movie is in theaters for at least two weeks initially only. But again, there are people who would not be able to restrict themselves for those two weeks uh, to avoid spoilers. They have the whole movie spoiled for them. They would not hold themselves accountable either <laughs> because they again were the ones who decided to stay on certain platforms so this gives them a option of just being able to watch the movie without fearing that they'll have the whole movie spoiled for them before they get a chance to see it because they have the same chance now that everyone else has but when it comes to the poster that came out that poster again is highlighting the characters of what looks like Michael Myers and Laurie Strode for their final battle. This new poster that's out here, I've already seen the discussion that this is probably not Michael Myers. Again, it could be, but that is also the chance that this is actually Corey Cunningham in the Michael Myers costume. I've also seen people go on about how, why has there been no real mention of Corey Cunningham outside of the plot details that we know was released with that, that first teaser? No real mention of Corey Cunningham. I don't think even Rohan Campbell has had an interview or done any discussions about his role in Halloween Ends. If I'm wrong, you can let me know down in the comment section below. A lot of people who are paying close attention to some of the details that they're expecting in the movie they're they're just noticing that this movie might be setting itself up to be presented as something that it's really only going to be five percent like and what that is is this battle between michael myers and laurie strode so far going off of the log line laurie strode doesn't have the most compelling stuff to work with compared to Corey cunningham again I haven't seen the movie. This is just going off of the log line details. A memoir versus a new character who really we don't care about just yet because we don't know the dude. But this new character is working with something that is a little bit more compelling. He stands accused of something he either didn't do or something he did by accident. Uh, I know I've seen people in the comment section tossed around the idea that maybe this babysitting accident that is associated with Corey Cunningham was actually the work of Michael Myers and he's just blamed for it. He already has a lot more compelling material going for him there and we don't even know the dude versus what we know so far which is very little about what Laurie Strode is dealing with in this movie. So going off of that, but then seeing posters like this, a lot of people I can see sitting down watching this movie and feeling a little bit disappointed if you're someone who's not really staying on top of a lot of the stuff that's going into the movie, certain details about the movie that the teaser has revealed or that the log line has revealed, or you know, you're just someone who's gonna go out of your way going in completely blind and all you've seen is this poster. I can see someone going into the movie blind, watching the movie, and then wondering to themselves, why was none of this marketed during the marketing campaign? And what I mean is the stuff with Corey Cunningham. Very little is being done about Corey Cunningham. Now I get where a lot of other people are coming from when they say this is showing that they have no they have no uh, confidence in what they're portraying or about to portray on screen. And again, I, I have to agree somewhat with that. The Corey Cunningham stuff. The fact that it's not being marketed as heavily as the Lori versus Michael stuff, there's nothing wrong with marketing Lori versus Michael. That is going to be a large selling point, and it's going to be what a lot of people go out of their way to see. 
But the thing is, if the movie in itself isn't focusing completely on Laurie Strode like the 2018 movie did, and it's focusing a hefty amount on a character named Corey Cunningham, a lot of people will leave the theater feeling like they were swindled, bamboozled, <laughs> uh, and that this was false advertising. Even though that battle is going to occur, again, the most likely placement of this battle is at the very end of the movie. So what's happening prior to that? going off of everything we have been able to decipher and just assume because again these are all assumptions like a lot of us are hoping we're proven wrong halloween in seems like it's going to have a hefty a lot to do with corey cunningham allison nelson and their relationship and corey's bullying or his treatment by by haddonfield residents very much more to do with that a little less on the character of Lori strode she's just going to have some grand old battle at the end with michael myers how and why that'll be revealed once the movie comes out but i do get where people are coming from when they when they're saying that they think this movie is just presenting itself as one thing and it's going to be a majority of something else so hopefully we start to hear a little bit more about Corey cunningham hopefully we start to hear a little bit more about allison's role in the movie and we just die dial it back a bit on the michael versus Lori stuff that's obviously something that's going to be very exciting when we see the movie and everyone can't wait for that i would assume everyone who's been watching the trilogy can't wait to see them battle one final time but there's also people who are aware of certain things with the log line certain things about cast members and what you've made clear based off certain details in the log line that indicate this movie is not going to be heavily focused on michael myers and it's not going to be heavily focused on jamie lee curtis's character of laurie strode even though this is going to be a send-off movie that i'm sure she'll prefer compared to what they did to her with h2o and resurrection because again this this just feels like a makeup for what for the failures that were what came out of what many people consider to be the more appropriate ending in h2o she's making up for that all these years later but honestly you know if you come out of this movie feeling like you were swindled and bamboozled and this was false advertisement i wouldn't blame you and the whole thing with the simultaneous release i'm not against it i'm really indifferent to it but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there is a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video